All right, in this video, we're going to just do a straightforward use substitution um, interval like this would be found in a standard Calc 1 class. We're going to integrate cosine x over the square root of 1 plus sine x. All right, so our first step would be to determine what our u is going to be. Typically, we do like to do the inside part of that denominator, all right, and also knowing that the derivative of sine is cosine, that's going to allow that to cross out in a little bit. So we're going to let our u <clears throat> equal 1 plus sine x. When we take the derivative of both sides, we'll have a du is equal to, the 1 goes away, derivative of sine is cosine, and then dx. I am going to go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. So I'll have a du over a cosine u, sorry, cosine x is equal to dx. All right. Once that is completed, then you come back up to your original integral and you start doing your substitutions. I'm going to leave that cosine of x there in the top. I'm going to replace the bottom here with a square root of u. And I'm going to replace the dx for exactly what it equals, which is a du over a cosine x. That's going to allow those cosines to cross out really nicely. All right. In the next step, since I see this square root of u here, I'm going to go ahead and turn that radical into exponent form. So then I'll have the integral of a 1 over u to the 1 half. Because we're setting this up so that we can easily integrate. All right, I'm going to implement laws of exponents here. I'm going to move that u to the 1 half up and make it negative. So then I'll have the integral of a u to the negative 1 half power du. And I am now finally ready to integrate. When I add one to that negative one half there, I'm going to have a u raised to the one half power, keeping in mind that we flip it. So it'll be a two there in front and then plus C. Last step would be to take u and replace it. And when I do that, then I will automatically turn that uh, one half back into a radical. So we'll do that all in the same step. We'll have two times the square root of the one plus sine x and then plus C. So definitely a straightforward U substitution integral that would be typically found in a Calc 1 class. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.